I'm Pam Duffy and I'm here to help you craft your career with creative marketing and artistic inspiration and most Sundays we tend to go live to do some kind of a crafty project whether you're joining me in and joining it joining me in joining in and crafting along with me doing your own crafty projects or just joining in for the chat everybody's welcome but if you're looking to create a career as a crafty person then you really want to subscribe to this channel and today's stream is brought to you by people I don't thank often enough they should be coming by on the ticker any moment now so <laughs> in the ticker below I want to thank my channel members those you don't know you can join my channel and donate I think it's a pound a very small amount of money to become a dog snack supporter so thank you to Mama Bear, Papa Crane Wishes, Bridget Moon, Carol Wise, George on the Rocks, Tracy Finkel, Tobias Ware, Joan Ellen Eleanor, Betsy Sands, Sandsnitz, Candice Rather, Alice Camp, Sandy Soaps, and CJ Dragons Planets. They are all they are all dog snack supporters in the Crafty Clan. So I don't thank you guys enough. So thank you so much. As does Mia. Thank you. Um that that small amount of money that everyone donates every month goes to snacks for my dog to keep her quiet while we're on the stream. So I thought. We, we would do this thing. Um, yeah, so, uh, okay, today we're going to do a thing because, but we're going to do a thing I'm, I'm a bit nervous about. I don't usually do a project from start to finish that's all my own live. I've not done that for a while. Um, but the other night I was looking and I wanted to make the Teruvian Shepherd. I think that's how you say it. It's a long haired Belgian Shepherd. Um, I will possibly at some point show you what they look like um but we're gonna have a go at that but before we get started before I say hello to anyone in the chat I wanted to show you because we we didn't quite finish him last week I would like to introduce you to the channel mascot <laughs> this is midnight Huey McDragon face of the clan crafty how's that for a name if you missed it the past couple of weeks, well, we used the ooh, Spyro the Dragon, who's kind of fallen down. No? Okay, don't try touching stuff, it's all going to fall. We used the Spyro the Dragon base, and everybody worked together to choose the colours and things we added to him, and I think he's turned out quite handsome. So here is our mascot. I will put him in pride of place looking down from the top so thank you everyone who joined in with that um, okay right so I want to get started with this we are no way going to finish this in one day this is probably just going to be the body but let's let's kind of get started and then I'll jump into the chat so what I tend to use this is going to be a medium sized sculpture for me um which is about four or five inches, well, about five inches long. And I tend to, for those, I use florist wire at 22 gauge. I just get it off of eBay. Nice, easy stuff. It's firm enough, but bendy enough that it doesn't drive me crazy. And it's a good, a good length, um, which I have no idea what length it is. Does it tell me? Don't know, but it's 22 gauge florist wire that's what I use. So um, I do have a tutorial for how I make my dog bases um, so you can check that out. So I won't go into too much detail I'll just you can watch and see but I'll just <laughs> I'll just chat as we go. Um, Erica I'm glad you can join. Good to see you. Serena looks so much fun. <laughs> Uh, Diana, this looks interesting and difficult. Yeah, I was actually, should have brought them upstairs, but I didn't. Um, one of my commissions this week was for a German Shepherd dog, and I was just thinking um, he just looked quite Teruvian, and I hadn't made a long-haired Belgian Shepherd, so I really kind of wanted to. Oh, it's so hot today. So if you see me, I'm I'm wiping my hands on my shorts. It's disgusting, but it's oh, it's so hot. Um, yeah. So <laughs> there we go. There, there's my little whinge. Um, and Pamela, good morning. Looking forward to this. So am I. Let's hope it works. I I envisage we will 
judging by how long other projects have taken on on live we will probably only get the the blank of the body done and the shadings for next time i don't know if it'll be next week or what we'll do because the elephant kit will probably have arrived by then um <laughs> Tobias, good day. There's my name. Exactly. Yes. If your name's down below, you are a dog snack supporter, a channel member. <laughs> As I say, I should really thank you all more. So thank you. There you go. You get a moment with your name on the screen. So if you want details, if you can't really see what I'm doing, I'm not making this like a total tutorial. This is just how I make my medium and large dog bodies. I've got a, I've got a full tutorial large dog body uh, where I was making the, what dog was it? It was a Chinese crested dog. It ended up up being, but you got the whole blank for making the body there. Um, but you can probably see what I'm doing. It's just a little bit of twisting. Um, the, the Belgian Shepherd type dogs are, Similar to a German Shepherd, except they're more upright with a straight back. They tend to be quite square, so that's what I'm kind of aiming for. The back and the legs are about a similar length. The front legs are going to be a little bit long, probably. Um, but it's kind of rough because I find I get the... I, if I'm just winging it like this, um, the proportions aren't quite perfect for me, and I tend to add a bit extra to the feet as you can see that I definitely made the front legs too long they're quite upright in the shoulder these dogs are as well um, and very straight necks shall we shall we shall we have a look at one of them um, how do I share that screen um, and a tab and that one okay um so oh you probably can't see it yet. I have to. So I will hide the screen, show this screen, <laughs> and hopefully you can see here. So here are the Teruvian Shepherds. Um, it's basically a long-haired Belgian Shepherd. I think they are quite quite adorable as I say it's a similar to a German Shepherd with a far more kind of pointy and flat um, muzzle and the straight back quite dainty they're much lighter and very driven dogs I really want to tr to get my hands on one to train one at least they are they look quite fun and I thought this one here, can we show it? I thought he was quite stunning. So I'm going to go for something a bit. Uh, this is what I'm aiming for. <laughs> what we end up with might be totally different, but that's that's the dog I have in my head just now. Hopefully, yes, you can all see that. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's the cunning plan. Um, right. Hide that. Show that. There we go. Um, so that's that's the plan, as you can see, quite quite upright heads and necks, straight in the shoulder and straight back. And other than that, fairly normal wolfy type shape. I, um, Lisa's here, a Harlow great mess mascot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lorna, hello, love the dragon, great name, but a bit of a mouthful. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I, a dragon with its name thought up by us was bound to be a bit of a mouthful, wasn't he? Right, guess who didn't bring her pliers upstairs to bend this? We'll just do a little bend. I always bend my wire over at the end so there's nothing stabby. Um... So what? Do, um, yeah. So so we can call the 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 dragon. He can be Midnight or or Huey for short, which whichever you fancy. I'm just gonna quickly flick back. Okay. So the Belgians have quite low hocks. That's actually their the hocks are their or uh, most mammals think of it like your heel. So they're quite low down the leg. Um, I'll just fold this in here. This is sort of going to be his front paws and mainly just getting rid of the 
the spiky edge of the wire. So there we have, <laughs> there we have a skeleton. Uh, oh man, so warm here today. We've been having thunderstorms actually today and it's done nothing to clear the air. Um, Bridget's in the house. Hello there. And Rose, Erica, Hello, fluff friends. Michelle, hi there. Bridget looks fun and difficult at the same time. Absolutely. I am. Um, <laughs> Serena's making a Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu for her son's birthday. First actual character. Oh, I did. Pikachu was the first thing that I tried to do live. That was like, hilarious. I can't can't remember if any of you were in in the stream, but. Many, many years ago, when I just started streaming, um, I just figured out how to set up two cameras, so I was super proud of myself. But I was downstairs sitting on my sofa because that was the that's where my computer was. I now have a have a laptop as well, so I, I'm a bit more mobile. Um, and I'd got a a kind of whiteboard, right? They have quite dainty legs, trying to not add too much wool here. I'd got a whiteboard and I was balancing that on my knee. Here's behind the scenes things. Um, so I had a whiteboard and the camera aimed, aimed at the whiteboard and I was trying to make a Pikachu, but I didn't know how to, if I would be able to like look at different screens while I was doing that. So I tried to do them from memory. And having a nice chat I think there was like two people in the stream or something we were having a nice chat and it was all going fine apart from the fact that my Pikachu looked like an abomination I just thought that I, I can totally felt a Pikachu how easy is that apparently under pressure no that really didn't work he looked terrible <laughs> um but yeah so hopefully you'll do better with Pikachu than I did it, it's such a, a great fun character and I look forward to seeing it. Let, let, let us see when you're you're done with him. Um, I think all the Pokemon characters, there's so many and so much fun to make, obviously. Great for your son's birthday, not something that we can sell if we wanted to to make them. Um, oh, I'm dying of the heat. I, if you hear, well, if, if Tweety Birds offend you, you might hear some, some Tweety Birds um, outside because the window's open because I am dying. Um, but if you're offended by Tweety Birds, then go away. <laughs> we don't want you here anyway. Um, but yeah, I had to open the window because I'm boiling. Um, it's it's not often Scotland has a heat wave, but that's that's been a week or so. Um, Sky Wolf's in the house. Sorry, I'm late. Been to the cinema. Ooh, what you see? I, ooh, I've not been to the cinema. I don't, I think our cinemas are open now. I'm not sure. I've not been to the cinema in so long. I don't know if I quite fancy it yet. We're, Scotland's still not doing great. Um, but I get, I, I got, I got my letter. I'm getting my second vaccine vaccination in about 10 days so yay um doesn't mean i'm going to go crazy but it's it's still good to get these things out of the way for sure um e couture right that's ginger uh, <laughs> i'm i know that's ginger um <laughs> good morning slurping coffee i have already i it was too hot and I decided not to have coffee today. And then I made a smoothie. I was making a chocolate smoothie and I thought I'll bring, I'll put a little bit of coffee in it because it will be, you know, just nice, helps out of chocolate. And my hand slipped and I put a metric ton of coffee. I, I ended up with a coffee shake instead with a little bit of chocolate rather than a chocolate shake with a little bit of coffee. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, the Teruvians are red dog breed in the US. Yeah, it's pretty. I've not met one in real life. I have some online friends that have them, but I've not met one yet. And I do want to. Um, I hear more about the mouths, the, the smooth haired versions, um, and people call them maligators because they're they're used a lot in like protection work and stuff. They they love to bite things. <laughs> <laughs> not not in a bad way. They can be trained. They're super smart but very drivey. So I'd love to I'd love to meet one and not hit the microphone. I'd love to hit one uh, to meet one and play with play play train with them. Um 
Lorna, you made a small dog a few years ago when you started needle felting. A portrait of my dog. Yeah, my, my dog was the first thing I made as well. <laughs> um, a fox terrier. Awesome. Serena, you've almost finished the head. You had to make your own clay eyes as you didn't have any big enough. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's super it's easy and cool to make your own eyes. You can felt eyes, you can make them out of clay, um, you can get clear cabochons um, with flat backs and paint on them, or you can print out eyeballs and stick them on the back of the cabochons. So many ways. <laughs> um, yeah. Erica, your friend has two. Oh, fab. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think although they're rare, people who have them do have them in multiples, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> um. Diana, it's hot on mole, but today's a bit dull and rainy, but still hot. Yeah, same here. I was woken up with um literally the kind of rain that you're like, is my roof still going to going to hold that? Is the street outside going to be flooded? They're just utterly crazy amounts of rain. Right, I want to keep this dog like fairly lean but I don't want to go too crazy with making it too skinny um but as it's going to have long hair added um a tip I always say I hope I always say um anything that's going to have long hair it doesn't make it easier um people think that they think they don't have to put as much work in um you totally have to I believe have to make your base really nice and strong and that makes it easier to put the long hair on um because then it's got the more dense your base is the more stuff the long hair has to grip on so yeah you it actually takes longer to make the long haired ones than it does to make the the smooth haired ones um ginger <laughs> an eye opener coffee is good at any temp yeah i go through phases sometimes i give up coffee sometimes i i ungive up coffee we're we're in an ungive up coffee phase i i figured in a in, in a global in a global unpleasantness i'm allowed to have a wee bit of coffee it's, of, of all the things that might kill me off i doubt coffee is going to be one of them um Tobias. Oh, cool. I might try making a dog latch hook rug pattern in the near future. Great idea. People like to do their own breeds of dog. Um, very much so. Cats too. Ever cats are popular. I'm my my secret project, I'm gonna be doing some things with cats very, very soon. Um you have seen some of them that I've made. Um what have you? But yes, I've been using my my cat face that we did a tutorial for a few months ago I've been working on loads of cats I think he's quite quite sweet actually <laughs> he turned out pretty good oh. but yes I'm going to be doing some cats because cats are super popular um Serena it's rain thunder and lightning here yeah it's I don't know, I think we've stopped with the thunder and lightning, but the clear air didn't come in behind. And I don't want to be complaining too much. I know my friends in some areas of Canada are having a a nightmare of it with the the dry and the heat, the the real they're getting real heat. Um and then that's starting some fires and stuff. And I hadn't even thought about it. Like it's oh, fourth of July today, so happy fourth of july to any country that that does that obviously um in the uk we don't but i'd never thought our day that we have fireworks is the 5th of november and i'd never thought sort of anything of that kind of thing but um people are saying like the 4th of july is like a terrible time to have fireworks because everything's so dry that it actually starts fires and stuff and i hadn't thought so yeah in some places in where this heat waves happening they've been banned having any fourth of july um fireworks so yeah crazy um bridget how hot is it today um actually like my computer tells me how hot it's supposed to be and my computer's saying that it's 
supposed to be 19 degrees C, so I feel like such a wuss saying it's roasting, but it is, it's heavy. I, I am, I am sweating, so <laughs> we'll probably have to, like, that this stream will end when I just literally need to go for a wash. <laughs> that, that's going to be the thing. Oh, but yeah, it's it's sticky. But in in my defence, not nineteen degrees shouldn't be hot. I'm I'm hoping my computer's lying. It feels way worse than that. In my defence, when anyone from Scotland complains about the heat, or anyone from the UK, firstly we live on a very small island, so humidity. We don't talk about humidity because it, it, that's just what it is. The sky is wet all the time. But also we don't have air conditioning. Um, cars have it, but I always forget like my air conditioning in my car is always needing recharged because there's only about like two days in an entire year that I need it. So I forget to put it in to get that done. Um, Kim, good morning from Oregon. Hello there. Um, Ginger, we had a small heat wave, still 90 degrees expected, hot for the 4th of July parade. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Bridget, thank you. Great cat. Yeah, I kind of, I was really pleased how he turned up. Um, oh, goodness, Ginger. Yeah, hoping the school marching band doesn't still use the wool uniforms. Poor things. Uh, years ago, my younger son fainted while waiting to march. Oh, wow, what a nightmare. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I can totally imagine that. I remember, um, oh, it was probably about this time of the year. I can't remember the date, but yeah, not for 4th of July, but sort of the beginning of the school holidays when I lived down in England, we had carnivals where, you know, you had the carnival queen and everything, but we we all would like get dressed up and go on floats and things. And yeah, sometimes the float costumes were quite elaborate and you had to be sitting there for hours. So yeah, it could get hot. Or even if they weren't heavy hot costumes. Um, when I was a kid, I was like in a in a ballet troupe. And sometimes like the ballet outfits were reasonably skimpy. So you were out in the sun for hours. Yeah, too much. <laughs> Um, Tobias, is latch hooking another British short hair rug different to the one you've seen on Facebook? Oh, cool. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, my, mem my memory is shocking for everything that you've shown me. So <laughs> people let me know. <laughs> Diana, a cat with a body, it's better. You don't like the disembodied heads. Have I, 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 I can show you a disembodied head. I, I've got a whole bucket load of disembodied heads. <laughs> Oh, my hay fever is also killing. Um, Tobias, it's 13 degrees C here at one twenty a.m. in Brisbane winter. I know, we're such a wuss. You're like barely cooler at nighttime in your winter than we are like in a super hot day in the summer. But we're just not equipped. We have the, we have this weak Scottish sun that turns ridiculously pink in the in the heat. Um, Serena, oh, the, the, cat, the cat is adorable. Thank you so much. Um, I'm still. I think I'm going to sell those ones. I, I was making cats for funsies. I am going to sell some cats kind of related things. There's only a couple of us here, so sure, sure, sure. Some of the projects I've been working on, I can't remember if I showed you this like the other week, but I've been working on a little, little projects. Better on that camera. Um, disembodied cat head. Um, I've been working on little projects, so I was going to sell those. I hadn't decided about the bigger cats, but I might do that. Um, <laughs> Ginger, high humidity here in the woods is about 40%, then we all wilt. I have no idea what, because we don't sort of quote the humidity. We don't we don't talk about humidity. It wasn't till some actual, some Americans were, were talking about the thing, because I've seen, you know, you talk about like, like certain places in America where it's high humidity and stuff. Um, and 
and you know that makes the the heat worse and i hadn't thought we we don't our weather reports talk about heat they talk about pollen they talk about how much it's going to rain but there's no mention of humidity because we're just like always <laughs> oh crikey i've been taking my antihistamines don't tell me i'm going to need stronger ones they, uh... Bridget, it's probably very humid like the tropics. You need to put your AC on every few weeks to keep it working. Uh, yeah, the problem is most of the time in Scotland, I definitely don't need air conditioning. Oh, shouldn't have started rubbing my eyeballs. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, um, so you don't think about the air conditioning until you desperately need it. <laughs> oh, wow, that is annoying. Right. I thought the, the heat was going to get to me. It might be the hay fever. And I thought the rain would keep that out of my eyeballs. Oh, give me a minute. Right, excuse me. I'm going to... Oh, I can't do that. Hang on. Ugh. Excuse me. Quality streaming services. Ah, ah, ha, ha. My eyeballs are killing me. Wow. Ah, I know what I'll do. Right. So you can look at the cat and not so much at me. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, I shouldn't have rubbed my eyes there. That is so annoying. And if I switch my camera off here, you can't hear me. Um, yeah, guys, I need some eye drops. I do. I have some actually, but my eyes weren't weren't drop weren't sore until right now. I think it was just me rubbing my eyes. Oh, that is that is Bernie. Ah, guys, okay, I think I'm going to have to call this stream short because, whoa, I need to wash my face. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining. Wow, yeah, um, sorry about that, but, whoa, hay fever's great. But here's here's a start to the dog anyway. He looks very strange, but he'll slim up as we go along. Whoa, okay, have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you next week.